This video we're going to talk about naming carboxylic acids and uh, carboxylates. Okay, so let's look at some simple carboxylic acids. So what if I want to name this compound here? Okay, well, again, we have uh, carbons one, two, three. So usually we say this is propane, but because it's a carboxylic acid, we use this propanoic acid. Uh, so this is propanoic acid okay so this noic here represents the um, uh, uh, this O here uh, substitute for the E on the propane okay similarly how do we name this molecule well again carbon one two three four so usually we say this is butane but because it it's a carboxylic acid we say this is butanoic acid okay which this is butanoic acid okay now what about this one yeah what about this one this is pentanoic pentanoic acid yeah because you have carbon one two three four five okay so we say this is pentane but because it's a carboxylic acid we say it's pentanoic acid okay what about this one yeah we have carbons one two three four five six so you can guess this is hexanoic noic acid so you get the general pattern okay now how do we name this one yeah you say this is carbons one two three four five six so we list our substituents first in alphabetical order so this is three chloro dash two dash methyl uh, hexanoic acid okay now something i want to mention about these carboxylic acids here biological systems are actually made up of uh uh two carbon uh, two carbon chain molecules and especially carboxylic acids um, and so the the odd number carb the odd num odd carbon chain numbers are not particularly present so pentanoic acid is actually uncommon okay because it has, has a odd number of carbons so it has five carbons hexanoic acid yeah hexanoic acid is 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 actually pretty uh, pretty common it actually the the common name for this is uh, Caproic acid. <laughs> I couldn't remember what this is. Caproic acid, and these are usually in goats, um, especially male males, and they stink. Okay, they stink. Okay, so biological systems are usually made up of even number of carbons. So, butanoic acid is also another one. Okay, butanoic acid, uh, hexanoic acid, as I said before. Valeric acid, the five carbon chains, the three carbon chains, the seven carbon chains. Pretty uncommon. Okay, so we just named this molecule. Now, how about cyclic uh, carboxylic acid? So, with cyclic carboxylic acids, you get a little bit different. Yeah. So, what's apparent in this case? We have a cyclic carboxylic acid. Now, our parent will actually be cyclohexane. Carbon, uh, carboxylic acid. So this is how we deal with cyclic compounds. So if this was a cyclopentane, yeah. So let me let me do this first. Okay. So this is uh, the parent name would be cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Yeah. Then in carbon two we have the bromine. Now remember these are cis with respect to each other. So this would be cis dash two dash bromo. Uh, cyclohexane carboxylic carboxylic acid okay so this is how we name uh, cyclocarboxylic acid and again if I had this pentane structure here I had uh, carboxylic acid this is cyclopentane carboxylic acid Okay, so that's how you deal with um, uh, 
cyclic carboxylic acid, you actually name out the, the cycloalkane like name and then you put the carboxylic acid at the end. Okay, let now let's talk about a little bit about naming carboxylates. So uh, usually when you throw a carboxylic acid in, in base, you get the carboxylic acid, uh, you get the carboxylic salt. Okay, and these typically you name the, the, the cation first and then the, the parent name after. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, this is one, so this is carbons one, two. So if this is a carboxylic acid, we will say this is ethane. Okay, but since it's a carboxylate, we say this is ethanoate. So in we named the, 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 the cation first, so this is actually sodium ethanoate. Okay, you notice this ethanoate replaces our ethanoate. Ethanoic then replaces that noic, this OATE. Okay, so how do we name this one? Yeah. This is carbons one, two, three. So it's usually propanoic acid, but we're gonna replace that noic with that O8. So this would be potassium pro no eight. Okay, notice I list my carbon cation first. Okay. So let's talk about dicarboxylic acids. Okay. So what if I wanted you to name this compound here? Yeah, we have two carboxylic acids in the same chain. Well, we could count this as carbons one, two, three, four, five, six. So if this was just one carboxylic acid chain, we'll say this as hexanoic acid. But because it's two, now we gotta switch it up a little bit. We represent the end with this dioic, dioic, uh, dioic acid. So this dioic here. This is what we replace with with the uh, noic acid. So it's not noic anymore, it's dioic. Okay, and so we'll call this actually hexane dioic acid. Dioic, dioic acid. Yeah, remember the hexane dioic. I can't spell for some reason. Yeah, so that so and notice that I named the alkane like structure. Okay, so whenever you deal with carboxylic acids, you name the alkane like name, then you add this dioic acid at the at the end here. So let's let's do one more. So how would we name this one? Yeah, this is carbons one, two, three, four, five. So we know this is a uh pentanoic acid if it has one carbo carboxylic acid functional group but because it has two we're going to say this is pentane because we named the alkane like pentane dioic dioic acid okay likewise if it had only four we would say it would be butane dioic acid so for dicarboxylic acid you name the alkane like name and then you add this dioic acid at the at the end here uh, let's look at one more. So what if I wanted to name this one now? Yeah, now I have an aldehyde and a carboxylic acid. Well, remember carboxylic acids get the the number one priority first. And so looking at this would be carbons one, two, three, four. So on four, remember as a substituent, the carbonyl is called an oxo. So this is four oxo butane butanoic butanoic acid okay so that's just for naming carboxylic acids not hard stuff